Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how I organize my binder um, with couponing. I guess I'm going to say I'm a beginner, but I do love doing these things. And um, it is very important to have a binder and organize your coupons when you're barely starting. And even when you're extreme couponer, like you need to know how to organize your coupons just because you don't want them laying around the whole house or your purse or anywhere and whenever you're actually gonna go grocery shopping you won't find them so um, the first things that you need well the most important things that you need for a binder um, to organize your coupons it's a binder it's a plastic dividers it's the baseball card holders um, scissors, I mean, you can use markers, anything to decorate your binder however you want it, but that is the most important things. Um, I'm going to show you how I did mine. It's not the perfect way to do it, but um, this is the way I do it, and actually this is the way I like it. And by the way, you can you can um, organize it the, either way. Like, you can organize it by... Um, categories expiration dates by the ABC's I mean everyone does it differently but I do mine um, by categories and other stuff so this is what my binder looks like it's just my name and it's pink it's a two inch binder I believe and it just has my name on front it's pink because I love pink um, this is a very big one. So whenever you get a binder, you are need are gonna need a pen a pencil um, bag, I guess. Um, it's it is very important that you carry it everywhere because you need to carry your scissors, a highlighter, just in case you see an ad or something that you like, you know, and you want to go price match at Walmart, and you're gonna need a pen. Um, and like I said, just a um, highlighter or a um, sharpie. Oh, and you want to and you're gonna want to carry a calculator so you make sure that you know the cashiers are doing the right job and you actually saved up what you wanted to. Um, okay, so mine first starts with the restaurant coupons. And like I said, this is a, a baseball card holder, so this is where I put all my coupons, but. Um, so these are my coupons for restaurants when I go out to eat. Um, they have pretty good ones at this last Sunday newspapers, which is yesterday. They had this pretty good ones for Steak and Shake, Olive Garden, and, um, I believe it is Logan's Roadhouse. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is the frozen foods. And, I mean, it's frozen and refrigerated food, so anything that's on on the refrigerators or in the, oh, sorry, or on the um, freezers, then that's where this goes. I have pizzas and um, frozen pizzas and, I mean, wings and all that stuff, hot wings and stuff. Next one is my, my snacks. And this is like salty snacks or just any um, cereal bars or anything that I would eat. And like I said, you can do you can put one on the front and then you you would put another one on the back. The next one would be my sauces and canned food. Same thing, like I said. This one is my drinks. I don't have that many just because I started this today. This is my breakfast. I don't have that many either, but I'll get there. This is my pastas and soups. This is my ads and price matching. Like if I see an ad from a store that I liked and I want to go price match at Walmart, then I would, they would be here in this section but I don't have any right now this is my store coupon and manufacturer coupon so 
Um, so like this one would be, I have a ma manufacturer's coupon that says save $1 with uh, any deodorant. So I have that and then also at Walgreens they have this sale going on that you buy one deodorant and it's $1.99 but they give you $1 back so you'll be paying um, 99 cents in total. And since I have this dollar off, then it would I would be getting it for free. If you, I don't know if I can explain this, but I have this one that saved 25 cents on dish soap. And at Walgreens, it is 94 cents plus they take off 25 cents. And it'll be 69 cents. And like I said, it's 69 cents the final cost plus the 25 cents I have off. That would be like, I don't know, maybe like around 40 cents. So I would be getting this for like 40, 30 cents. Okay, this makeup and hair care. And this is where all my coupons for my makeup and, and hair go. I don't have that many right now. This is where all the baby stuff would go. But I don't have any either, like diapers, wipes, or anything. This is the cleaning section. So that's the cleaning section. And these right here, like you, like I, like you see, these are Target coupons. So you can use this Target coupon and a manufacturer coupon, and it'll be way cheaper. This is the personal use, like dental care. Um, my my razors my body wash anything like that it would go here and this is for medicines and this is all my medicines and i mean that's pretty much all i mean i'm gonna be adding more plastic dividers soon but for now this is how i want to start i don't want to get all confused and go crazy because once you start couponing, then you're going to want to go crazy. And you're going to be like, oh my god, I have been wasting all this money on this. And it's going to trash where I could have just bought the Sunday newspaper for $3. $3 and saved like $20, $30. But, I mean, I recommend to just buy one Sunday newspaper when you're really starting. So you won't get all confused. And then... um whenever you get better then start getting more more than just one and then go online and print coupons and all that stuff i mean you do save up a lot of money but you do have to have the time to organize this because like i said it is very important that you know where all your coupons are and um it is very important to know where um the coupon policy for every store as well um I bought this little thing right here. It's um, it's to keep my coupons when I go to the store, so I won't have to take my whole binder. I will just take it here. And this was only a dollar at this at the dollar store, but you see, this is what it looks like. And I would just put my coupons here, the ones that I'm actually going to need when I go grocery shopping. And don't have to take my whole binder. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking my whole binder, but I would rather just take this one and like I said it is very easy to organize it you just gotta have the time for it um, you also want to buy some paper clips just so whenever you cut the newspaper coupons then you won't lose them and I mean let's say you cut them off at night and you want to organize your binder the next morning so you just want to buy those paper clips to put them together or whatever you're going to go grocery shopping. Like I said, take the coupons you're going to need, clip them together, and take them on this little box. So that's pretty much it, girls. And I hope this helped a little bit um, on how to organize your binder. But this is just the way I do it, like I said. And this is the way I like and it helps me. So I hope it helps. Bye.